Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to hang a mirror on a wall. So I will be taking this mirror right here and I will be hanging it on this wall and I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step tutorial. So let's get right to it. Alright, so we're going to start off by measuring the distance between the hangers on the back of the mirror. And this is the back of the mirror and I will be using two hangers to hang the mirror. One is over here and one is over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to take my measuring tape and I am going to measure the distance between those two hangers. And what I'll do is I will set the measuring tape up right now and then I will actually pick up the camera and give you a closer view. So we're looking at the back of the mirror right now and you can see that I have my measuring tape set up to measure the distance between the two hangers and it is centered on both hangers so it's centered right there and if we follow it here to the center of this hanger you can see that it is 26 and a half inches. So these two hangers on the back of the mirror are 26 and a half inches apart and we're going to keep that number in mind you know for the next few steps of this process. Now the next step involves finding the center point of the wall and this is obviously if you're going to hang the mirror centered on your wall. So you're going to take your measuring tape and you are going to measure the distance from one end of the wall to the other. So I'm going to take this measuring tape right here and measure the distance and it is 36 inches. There are 36 inches from one end of the wall to the other. Now I'm going to take that number and I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to divide it by 2. So 36 inches divided by 2 is 18 inches. So that means that there are 18 inches from one end of the wall to the center of the wall. So I'm going to measure that out and mark it on the wall. So let's see here I have my measuring tape touching that side of the wall. I'm going to try and do this with one hand and I'm going to mark off 18 inches and that is the center point of your wall. Now that we've marked off the center of the wall, we can start um, determining where each of the hooks or screws will go to actually hang the mirror. So we have measured and we've determined that there is there are 26 and a half inches between the uh, hangers on the back of the mirror. So 26 and a half between them. Now, um, if we take that number and we divide it by 2, we get 13 and a quarter. 26 and a half divided by 2 is 13 and a quarter. That means that there is there are 13 and a quarter inches between, e between either of the hangers on the mirror and the center of the mirror. Now, since we are hanging the mirror centered on the wall, the center of the mirror should line up with the center of the wall right here. So that means that in order to determine where we will have to place the hooks or screws, we will need to go to the left of the center by 13 and a quarter inches and to the right of the center by 13 and a quarter inches. So I'm going to place the camera down now and I will show you the next step. Alright, so now we have the center of the wall marked off and we know that there uh, need to be 13 and a quarter inches between the center of the wall and where we place our screws or our hooks to actually hang the mirror. So now you need to go ahead and measure um, where you want the mirror to be with regards to its height on the wall and determine the height of each of the screws or uh, screws or hooks. So you need to determine height wise where you need them to be. And I've already done that but I can't really tell you the number because it doesn't really make a difference because your height might be different than my height. So anyways, I measured the number of inches from the ground that I want the hooks to be and I marked that off right here. So I'm going to take a level and I'm going to draw a horizontal line at that point right there. So once again, I wanted the hooks to be at this level right here. So I'm going to get my level and I'm going to obviously ensure that it is completely level. And I'm going to draw a light horizontal line in pencil that I can obviously erase after. So a light horizontal line that spans across, I would say the entire level just to be safe because you need to make sure that it crosses the area that you will be putting the hooks in. So now I have the center of the wall marked off and I have my horizontal plane in which I will, I will be placing or, you know, drilling and so forth 
the hooks, drilling the hooks or the screws into. So this is the level of the hangers on the back of the mirror. So I'm just going to give you a closer view because I wasn't sure um, whether or not you could see uh, the line that I drew in the last video. So here's a closer view. That is the horizontal line that I drew right over there. And that is the center of the wall. That is the line that I drew earlier. Now the horizontal line is actually 66 inches from the ground. That's how I measured it. Now take into account the fact that the top of the mirror is not 66 inches from the ground because I'm just going to go to the mirror over here and turn it around so you can see the back once again. Um, I'm not measuring the distance from the ground to the top of the mirror. I'm measuring the distance from the ground to the actual hangers that I have here. So I measured 66 inches from the ground. I marked it off and I used the level to draw a horizontal line just like that. So for the next step, we are actually going to make the final marks with regards to where we are placing the screws or hooks to actually hang the mirror. And for this step, we need to remember the number that we came up with before. And that was the number from the center of the picture to either side. And for us, in my case, that was 13 and a quarter inches. That is the number of inches from the center of the mirror to either hook. Okay, 13 and a quarter inches. So... We are going to follow that horizontal line and from the center we are going to measure 13 and a quarter inches to the left and we're going to mark that off and then from the center we will also measure 13 and a quarter inches to the right and we will mark that off. So I'm going to place the camera down and start marking off the, uh, those uh, points where we will be placing these screws or hooks. So now I'm going to take my measuring tape and my pencil and I'm going to measure from the center right here. Once again, 13 and a quarter inches to the left. And just gonna try and be as precise as possible. So 13 and a quarter inches. Let's just really try and be precise. That's the goal here. Okay. 13 and a quarter. Right about there. And then I'm gonna also take my measuring tape and I'm gonna measure 13 and a quarter inches to the right. So let's just place it in the center once again, just like that. And then I'm going to mark off. Oh, no, I dropped my pencil. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm going to mark off 13 and a quarter inches to the right. Once again, just trying to be as precise as possible. So 13 and a quarter inches to the right. Then I'm just going to just give those marks um, some extra oomph just to ensure that I know exactly where they are and that we're going to just ensure that those vertical marks cross through the horizontal line that we drew earlier. So as you can see we have these specific locations in which we will be placing the screws or hooks that will actually be holding the mirror up. Okay, so um, one of the screws or hooks will be placed right here on the left where the vertical line and the horizontal line intersect. And then the other screw or hook will be placed to the right over here where the vertical line and the horizontal line intersect. Now this is where you sort of have to use your own judgment. You have to determine what you will need to actually hold up the mirror. So um, you might be able to get away with using some, some strong uh, picture hooks. Or you might have to use screws with anchors in the wall. Um, but you should definitely determine the weight of your mirror and what will be needed to actually um, hold it up properly. And once you know what you will need, you can actually um, place them in the appropriate spots. All right, so as you can see, I've just placed the screws in the wall in the appropriate spots and the mirror, it's basically, the wall and the screws are basically ready for the mirror. So I'm just gonna give you a closer view. This screw actually uh, lined up perfectly with a stud so I didn't have to use a wall anchor. And this screw over here uh, didn't, so I had to use a wall anchor to hold it in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to erase all of those pencil marks. Just, I know they'll get hidden by the mirror for the most part, but I just like erasing them anyway. So if I take the mirror down in the future, I don't have to erase them then. I'd rather erase them now while they're still fresh. So I'm going to erase those pencil marks and I'm going to hang the mirror and that's basically it. I will be back shortly.
you have it. It's literally that simple. I have taken this mirror and I have taken the appropriate measurements, made the appropriate marks on the wall, erased everything and cleaned it all up. And as you can see, I have the mirror right now on the wall, centered, and it looks pretty good. Now all that I have to do is clean it. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.